BMW 1 Series 2011-2019 The first generation of BMW 1 Series introduced in 2004 was a hugely successful but rather curious car. It had a surprisingly cramped interior for a family car, and despite having the rear-wheel drive disposition of many other BMWs and a whole host of sports car, it wasn't even all this special to drive. The second-generation version, introduced in 2011 and not replaced until 2019, corrected some, if not all, of those faults. It's slightly more spacious, for starters, and thanks to numerous tweaks to its chassis and running gear, as well as a wide range of efficient petrol and diesel engines, it's noticeably nicer to drive. Part of the 1 Series appeal in that wide range of engines. They start with a compelling 1.5-liter 3-cylinder petrol engine, borrowed from the BMW Mini, which gives the 118i smooth and sprightly performance and reasonable economy, peaking at 56.5 mpg. The 120i and 125i both offer more in the way of power and ultimately speed, but not enough to match the hot hatch pace of the peerless M140i which can shoot from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.6 seconds and is a real hoot to drive. Of the diesels, the 116D is superlative in its economy, with the F-strained version hitting 78.5 mpg. The 118D is not far behind, with 74.3 mpg available in the SE version. And the 120D Sport given an excellent 65.7 mpg. Both new, these were obviously the premium choice for company car drivers, thanks to their lower tax rates. Trims on offer started at base level SE, which gets the essentials but lacks niceties, such as parking sensors and sat nav. Sport enhances the appearance somewhat, with larger alloy wheels and sports seats, while M Sport offers larger alloys again, the option for a firmer and lower suspension, climate control, and their dynamic body kit. The suspension on the M Sport is too firm, however, so it's worth trying to seek out one of which this option has not been taken up until its replacement by an all-new front-wheel drive, third-generation version in 2019. The 1 Series was the only car in its class to offer a rear-wheel drive setup, and as a result, some versions could be great fun to punt down a winding road. It was refined too, especially on motorways. All in all, it was a great package, with an air of sophistication to the way it rides and handles, and vast choice of models from the economical 116D versions, right the way up to the blisteringly quick M135i and later M140i versions. There is a bit more space inside this generation of 1 series than the first, and the interior ergonomics for front seat occupants are excellent. Added to that, there's BMW's usual build quality, which does nothing to detract from the first series quality feel. And there's the excellent iDrive infotainment system. It feels like a premium car that will more than satisfy the demands of the high mileage executive plotting the UK's byways. Rear passengers won't find the 1 Series all the accommodating, however, and anyone approaching 6 feet will find their knees pressed against the back of the seat in front of them. Three across the bench will be a bit of a squeeze, and the central tunnel limits room for your feet. The door opening of five door models is rather narrow, making it harder to fit a child in their car seat when compared with direct rivals. Most competitors also offer slightly bigger boots too. At least the rear backrest folds flat to make the most of the available space. Rivals include the Audi A3, which is a fine car and a great used buy. The smart Mercedes-Benz A-Class, which is not so good to drive and a little pricey. And the achingly sensible Volkswagen Golf, which does everything most could want in one slightly less exciting package. Check the exterior for dents, scratches and scuff marks to the bumpers and bodywork because that can be expensive to fix. Make sure the the alloy wheels aren't heavily curbed too. Push every button in the interior to make sure all the electrics work correctly. Also inspect the seat fabric for anywhere to the driver's side seat bolster, because these cars have been known to rack up huge mileages. If the seat is well worn but the mileage is low, be suspicious. There have been three recalls related to an electrical issue that could lead to the engine potentially stalling, while in motion and the exterior lights switching off. A cable supplying power to the power distribution box has been found to fail in the engine bay. The driver may notice the lights in the instrument cluster flickering. The driver's seat might not latch correctly and could fold forward in the event of a collision, harsh braking, or if an unsecured load hits it. If your car is affected, then the BMW dealer may have to replace the seat. A number of 1 series that are fitted with an exhaust gas recirculation EGR module could have an issue with it leaking, 
In extreme circumstances, it could cause a fire, so affected cars should be inspected by a BMW dealer to find out if it needs replacing. Screws in the variable camshaft timing Vanos system may loosen over time on some models and potentially break off. If that happens, the Vanos system will malfunction and cause problems with the valve timing of the engine. This will throw up a warning light and put the car limp home mode, reducing engine power. The one series is rear-wheel drive. There is a prop shaft to take the power from the engine at the front and send it to the back wheels. A union at the front may fail and require a replacement to be fitted. There have been two recalls relating to the power steering. The first affects only a small number of examples and is caused by power steering ECU failure. Well, the second is due to a component failure and may require the steering box to be replaced. The fuel pump in the tank may stop working because it has components that haven't been nickel-plated correctly. A warning lamp and message will be displayed in the instrument cluster, but the brakes and steering should still work. If your car is affected, it'll need a new pump. A bolt in the clutch pressure plate may work loose over time and result in the inability to select any gears and therefore lose drive. A small number of cars were affected by this recall and your BMW dealer will be able to advise you further. There is a possibility that due to faulty software in the crankshaft sensor, you may experience rough running, reduced engine power or engine stall while in motion. If your car is affected, the dealer will need to replace the whole sensor. Part of the 1 Series appeal in its wide range of engines. These start with a compelling 1.5-liter 3-cylinder petrol engine borrowed from the BMW Mini, which gives the 118i smooth and sprightly performance and reasonably economy, peaking at 56.5 mpg under the older NEDC tests. Of the diesels, the 116D is superlative in its economy, with the SE trimmed version hitting 78.5 mpg. Trims and offers start a base level SE, which gets the essentials but lacks niceties, such as parking sensors and sat nav. Sport enhances the appearance somewhat with larger alloys wheels and sports seats, while M Sport offers larger alloys again, the option of a firmer and lower suspension, climate control, and an air dynamic body kit. Our favorite BMW 1 Series, 116D SE 5DR. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problem that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.